Hey y'all. Um, Jesus, what should I talk about? The election. Good job to all y'all that got Trump elected. I'm sure you're all proud of yourselves. Did I vote? Nope. <laughs> Partly because I do not go out. It's nice. It's nice not going out. <laughs> I've only voted in one election in my entire life, and I seriously don't remember who I voted for. It was probably Bush, maybe? I don't know. It was a long time ago. Women used to not be allowed to vote. Maybe that should still be a thing. I don't know. Why should women vote? Why should, be, why should women be interested in politics? You know, I never was interested in politics until recently, and my best friend was like, why are you all of a sudden interested in politics? I was like, because Twitter's like throwing up all this political stuff on my timeline. <laughs> so then I started getting interested in it. It really all started when there was that trial for Trump. And what did they say? That he had like 40, 40 charges or something. 40 felony charges. I think all that was just a bunch of silliness. Um, definitely a bunch of silliness. Because what was he really charged for? Obviously, it didn't matter that much, or else they would have actually put him in jail. Well, and the thing that I suspected was that all the things that they were charging him of, that probably every single politician could be charged of exactly the same things. But they were just picking on him. But anyways, but I do hope and pray that this time when he's in office, that he will live by... The rules, the laws, not break any laws, be honest, not be greedy, do a good job. It's a lot of responsibility, I'm sure, to be president. I've heard that their schedule is packed from the time they wake up till the time they go to bed. What all do they do? A lot of stuff. Is it hard to be honest in everything that they do? I don't know. Obviously, I have no idea what that's like. <laughs> Since I've never been president, so I don't know. I mean, I'm sure that we all wonder, what does the president do all day, every day? I don't know, just stuff. Anyways, hopefully he'll be honest this time and not do whatever he was on trial for. Um, but by the grace of God, he is president again because of the grace of God. And it is God's kindness that leads us to repentance, so... You know, everybody messes up at some point, in some way. And that's what I was, like, posting all over Twitter around that time. I wrote a poem about it. I said, you know, all, fall, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. We've all messed up. But if we can learn from our mistakes and not do that same thing again, then there's redemption. You know, redemption is possible. People can change. People can not keep doing the same stupid stuff over and over again. And then they can be forgiven. Like, I know that what God would say to us, any of us, is I can forgive you for the past as long as you don't keep doing it. You know? And that's what anybody in a relationship would, would say to anybody who cheated on them. Like, okay, I'll forgive you for the past cheating as long as, it, as long as you don't do it again. As long as it doesn't happen in the future. You know? And that's how any of us would be with anybody that we know. You can forgive the past, but the person has to change. They have to flip 180. They have to be a totally different person. Anyway, so hopefully Trump will do that. Hopefully he'll be a totally different person this time in office. Hopefully whatever he does, it will be by the law, according to the law. Being a law-abiding citizen. That's good. It's good to not break any laws. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hopefully all y'all aren't too sad about Kamala not making it. I will say, though, yeah, in some of her speeches, it seemed like maybe she was on something. <laughs> and I think that's what killed the election for her, like if she was potentially drunk before giving a speech. And, yeah, that she dismissed the guy saying, Jesus is Lord. But I will say... Yeah, that guy was a heckler. So if you're trying to give a speech and there's a heckler, meaning they're talking when you're trying to talk, that's really annoying. It's very disrespectful. So obviously it was a young man. He should not have shouted out Jesus' Lord when she was trying to do her thing. It's kind of disrespectful. 
But then she also shouldn't have dismissed him, and then that one thing just ruined her whole campaign. Yeah, because you can't, you can't disrespect the name of Jesus in America. I mean, you can, but there's a lot of people that are going to be mad about it. <laughs> Which, now we know, now we know how Christian America is, right? I'm sure we've all wondered. I've always thought, oh, it's probably like only 10% of America that actually cares about Jesus. Like, so many people are like, oh, yeah, I'm Christian. Like, oh, what, because you're American? Like, okay. <laughs> I swear that's like everybody in America. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm Christian. Why, why are you Christian? Because you're American? But that, doesn't, that doesn't make you Christian. None of y'all and none of your friends and family, they're not just Christian because they were born in America. I'm sorry, but no. No, that's ridiculous. And I swear, down here in Texas, everybody's like, oh yeah, I was born in Texas, so therefore, I'm a Christian. No. <laughs> what makes you Christian? Praying nonstop, reading the Bible every day, listening to worship music primarily. You know, so many people... Yeah, I just heard a sermon about this with Isaiah Saldivar. Sundays for church, Sundays for God. What about every other day? What do you do every other day? What music are you listening to in the car? What music do you listen to at home? What are you reading? What books are you reading? Are you reading the Bible or are you reading like Harry Potter or something? What books are you reading? Whatever you read, whatever you watch, whatever you listen to, it's influencing you. And it's going to make you a child of the day or the child of the night. It's going to make you light or darkness. You know, and you have to watch out what you're feeding yourself. What are you looking at all day? Are you watching porn? Or are you watching sermons? Are you listening to rap music? Are you listening to Christian music? <laughs> that makes me laugh because my ex told me that he listened to rap music and I was like, oh gosh. I was like depressed about it for the whole day. I was like, seriously? You listen to rap music? No. Mm -mm. Christians should not be listening to rap music. Christians should be listening to Christian radio. Caleb. 24-7. Every time you're in your vehicle... Put it on Caleb. It's usually like 88.1. It makes a difference, y'all. You have no idea how powerful music is on your psyche, on your mental health, on your soul. You know, Satan was the choir leader in heaven. So he knows all about music. And there's a great series on YouTube about this. They sold their souls for rock and roll. And he makes that point in those videos, you know, that Satan was the director of the choirs in heaven. So now he uses music to lead people into the dark side. So watch out for what music you listen to. Watch out for the movies you watch. Don't watch horror movies. Don't, honestly, don't even watch rated R movies, you know? Because, like, why? You know? I say you all should stick with Adam Sandler movies, comedy movies. Adam Sandler's at least Jewish, so... His movies are, are all right. I think they're all right. I've always preferred comedy movies over anything else. So anyways, watch what you, be careful what you watch. Be careful what you listen to. You know? Be careful what you read. <sighs> Y'all need to listen to some sermons and some worship music. Yeah. And no more of this, like, people saying, oh, I'm Christian because you're American or because you were born in Texas or whatever. No. What are you listening to worship music and sermons all day? If you're not, you're probably not Christian. I'm sorry, but you're probably not Christian. If you if you haven't read a single Bible verse in like a year, you're not Christian. If you haven't listened to one Christian song, one worship song and sang along with it in a year, you're definitely not Christian. <laughs> You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm like so like irritated about this because I've seen this my whole life. People saying they're Christian and it's like, really? Why do you think you're Christian? Why? <laughs> Anyways, y'all can pray about that after this video. Ask God. Ask God. Say, God, am I Christian? And then God's probably going to say, tell me why you are. Tell me why you are. And then you can talk to God about that. That should be interesting. <laughs> I talk to God all the time. Yeah. Why do I think I'm Christian? I don't know. Because I've been trying to save people ever since I was 14. I, 26 years. I've been trying to save as many people as I can. And I've tried. I, most, I mostly have read the Bible every day. I listen to worship every day. Try and listen to a sermon every day. You know? 
So, anyways. And I pray nonstop. Anyways, God loves y'all. God bless. Bye.